Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna talk about Google's free password manager which is a new feature in Chrome version 108. And this is a great feature in my opinion for three reasons. First, it's totally free of charge. All your passwords are saved to your Google account so you just need to install your Google Chrome on any Android, iOS, Windows or Mac computer to synchronize all of them. And finally, you don't need an extra app to manage this for you. So let's see if Google's first password manager is good enough to replace your current one, if you have any. To access the new password manager, just open Google Chrome and make sure you are on version 108, then tap the ellipses, then settings, and you will see password manager over here. When you go inside password manager, you will see this redesigned page that will give you a lot of options now. And the first thing you will see here is the description saying, create, save, and manage your passwords so you can easily sign in to sites and apps. So let's start from top to bottom and see each and every new feature. The first feature we have is called password checkup and this one will do a health check on your passwords and give you some insights and guide you to change any of them. As you see here, the results are categorized in three different categories. The first one is compromised passwords, reused passwords, and weak. When you expand any of them, you will see a small description here to let you know what does it mean. So in case of compromised passwords, it says here some of your passwords were found in data breach. To secure your accounts, you should change them now. And you have the change password button over here. When you tap on it, it should take you to the website to sign in and ch start changing your password. But this website is broken already, so that's why it doesn't work. And then you have here the reused passwords, and it says here, use a unique password for every site or app. If someone discovered a reused password, it can be used to access your other accounts, which makes perfect sense. And when you tap on a change password, it will do exactly the same. And finally, we have weak passwords, which is simply passwords that can be easily guessed so you can simply change this as well. And this is a totally redesigned page. The feature itself is not new, but how the data is presented is new in Chrome 108. So now we're done with the password checkup. Let's take a look at what else we have on the page. Here you have all your saved passwords and you definitely have the option to search, which is a neat feature in addition to the plus button. This is something new to Google Chrome and when you tap on it, that's when you can add new passwords to your password manager. Here you can type the website name or simply choose one of the apps installed on your device. So for example, when you choose Amazon, you can just put the username and the password and the next time you open the app, it will automatically suggest the password for you. And you can remove it by tapping on the X over here. Now let's go to the password manager settings to see what else we can do. You will see here a gear icon at the top right corner and we have some options that can help you as well. Like for example, a toggle for activating or deactivating offers to save passwords. Then we have the auto sign in and when you turn on the toggle, that means it will automatically sign in the website without asking for a confirmation. But when you turn this off, it will at least ask you for the fingerprint authentication or face ID, depends on which one you are using. And finally, you have here in the first category something called password alerts. This will automatically notif notify you if, if your password is compromised or weak. It will tell you that you need to improve your password for better security. Another neat feature under settings is export passwords. This one will allow you to export all your passwords in a CSV file. So when you tap on export, it will ask you would, where would you like to save the file. And it says here Google passwords.csv. When you tap on save, all your passwords will be saved in this file so you can reuse it if you want. Then we have something called add shortcut to your home screen. And when you tap on this one, it will add a shortcut on your home screen as if you are using the password manager as an app. So now I have the icon and when I tap on it, it will ask me which Google account I want to use. And here's the one I want. And as you see, now I'm inside the password manager right away, which is a quick shortcut instead of opening Chrome, then tap the ellipses and go to settings. So this is easier to do. Back to settings and let's scroll down a little bit to see one more new feature here is called on device encryption. This one will simply encrypt all the passwords you have saved on your device and then it will reuse them only when the phone confirms it's really you. And this is written here in the learn more page. So let's tap on setup to see how it works. 
So here's the first page in the process of password encryption and here it will tell you the pros and cons of using this feature. First it says on device encryption turns your device into a key that's used to lock your passwords before they are saved to Google password manager. This means that only you can see your passwords. It also means that if you lose the key, you could lose the passwords too. So this is kind of risky if you lost the device or the key that encrypts the passwords, you might lose all of them uh, in the future. So I'm gonna take the risk and continue with the process to see what's gonna happen. It says here, once on device encryption is set up, you can't remove it. Some sites and apps will no longer sign you in automatically. You will need to enter your Google password to unlock your passwords on a new device. So these are the things to consider. If you took the step, you will not be able to revert back. So let's tap on setup. And it says here, updating password encryption. And now it's asking me for the Google account password. So I'm gonna type that in. So I entered the passwords and hit next. And now it's updating password encryption and it will take a while. It says here at the top, you are ready. Now check your devices for a notification. And the text says to make sure that you don't lose your passwords. You can use your device's screen lock as another way to unlock them. And it says here, check your devices for a notification. Follow the steps to add this option and then tap on done. As you see after activation, now we have a slightly different screen. It confirms here that the feature is activated and we have here a new option called unlock your data on any device. It says here, use your screen lock to unlock encrypted data, including your pass keys on any device. And you can tap on use a screen lock and then says here, use a screen lock one more time and you are all set. And that simply means every time you try to access your passwords, it will ask you to authenticate to be able to see it. And as a part of the new password manager, now you have the option to edit your currently saved password or delete it if you want. Let me go back to settings to show you one more thing. When you scroll down, it will show you the list of the client sites and apps. And these are the ones you chose not to save their passwords. You can revert your decision by deleting the action and next time you open the app, it will ask you to save the password or you can add even more by tapping on add more and here it will show you the list of apps you have installed on your device but it doesn't allow me to add an extra website so I'm not sure why this is happening. Maybe you need to do this by opening the website and choose not to save its password. So that's pretty much it for today. That was Google's password manager in Chrome 108. So please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. And also let me know your feedback. Is it going to replace your third party password manager or it's not good enough yet and you will wait for some time. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.